All right, so the fight is now underway on one side with a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. It's going to be interesting to see how long he can keep it up with. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. All oh, collar tie. Nice strike. Oh, big hook. That'll stink. I don't know if you know jiu-jitsu much, you miss a lot of your classes. If I'm gonna do this to anybody, it's Anik. <laughs> oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Nermago Metal. Defense there. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. Just out of range with the big right hand. Again, back into this position. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Three minutes. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Nice punch lands over the top. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Attempts a front kick there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never... Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Don't finish his fight. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Oh, nice right hand. Nurmagomedov's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs it's of It's the same story, just told on a different day. Takedown after takedown after takedown. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes with your point. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back line, sure. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. Oh, and there's the horn. 
the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. Nice so back to the stool, wow. mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. Okay, ready? Two, you ready? All right, let's get to round two. Nice punch land over the top. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Liver kick. Oh, double jab there by Chor. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent. Could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to rush, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's been confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Sprawl there as he stuffs another takedown. So that was a big priority coming in, and the takedown defense has absolutely held up some. Yeah, he's done a fantastic job of understanding the threat of the takedown. He's recognized it, he's defended it before it's even got started. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. So a big knockdown for him in the previous round. Confidence is high and building here in this next round. Confidence is key, and he has a ton of it right now. <laughs> Stuff the takedown, no problem. Nurmago Medov's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two? Whoa! Big combination. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in this match. Wow! Wow! Oh! And there comes the stoppage! Oh! Woo! What a fight! Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Once more, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop in this contest at two minutes, 20 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. So there he is, and still UFC lightweight champion at 155.